Welcome back to another instalment of New Zealand's Bird of the Week, where in this video I will be talking about the Chatham Island Coos, the largest known coos that has unfortunately become extinct. I hope you enjoy. Endemic to the Chatham Islands, the aptly named Chatham Island Coos were described from subfossil remains found in June deposits by ornithologist Henry Forbes in 1892, who was also the director of the Canterbury Museum in Christchurch at the time. This type material is currently held in the Natural History Museum in London, and since then, numerous bones of them have been found throughout other dune sites and middens throughout Chatham Island, but the species appears to have been absent from the other islands in the group. They were about twice the weight of extant coots, as about 1.9 kilograms, and are overall the largest coots known. Apart from a large skull, long neck, and disproportionately long legs and toes, their skeletal proportions were similar to those of other coots, and so were probably capable of flight. They were also 40 centimetres long, and with the presence of salt glands above their eyes, it shows that they would have inhabited the brackish water of the enormous 16,000 hectare Tufunga Lagoon, as well as a variety of freshwater and terrestrial habitats. Differences between them and the slightly smaller and also extinct New Zealand coots have been debated over the years, with the most recent review by Trevor Worthy and Richard Holdway in 2002 recommending that both be considered as full species due to anatomical differences in the pelvis and humerus. Unfortunately, they became extinct in historic times around the 1400s due to predation by both people and the introduced Pacific rats, which both preyed upon the eggs, chicks and adults. This is evidence from their common occurrence of their bones and middens, showing that they were a frequent food item, which coupled with their range being limited to the island, meant that they probably disappeared very soon after human arrival. And with that, I thank you for watching this instalment of New Zealand's Bird of the Week. For next time, you are now able to vote for the Southern Royal Albatross, among the largest of their group, with wingspans exceeding 3 metres. With that, I'll see you next time, whenever that may be.